So as of the last time I checked, I am down seven pounds. And today I'm going to be showing you my top three lazy foods that I've been eating to lose this weight. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time landing on one of my videos, my name is Stasia and this channel is all about health and weight loss content following a whole food plant-based diet. For those of you who don't know me, I just love a whole food plant-based diet for both health and weight loss. So a few years ago, I had healed myself and lost a ton of weight following a whole food plant-based diet. I actually made a video where I explained the whole story, so I'm not going to get into it here, but I will leave that link in my description box below if you want to check it out. So at any rate, I know that it works. And once again, I am at it. I'm down seven pounds. I'm not someone who checks the scale like every single day or anything like that, but I am keeping a closer eye on it just because I'm starting to feel some things shift. I've made a handful of videos recently going into a little bit more detail in exactly what I've been doing to lose that seven pounds. So if you're new here, if you haven't had a chance to watch those videos, then just go check them out. They are my most recent videos. I'm sure you'll find them helpful. But today's video, I just wanted to let you guys know my three favorite foods when I'm feeling lazy. You know, if it's just been one of those days, super busy. Oh, I have a sneeze coming on. <laughs> Oh, that came out of nowhere. Uh, sorry. Um, what was I saying? Oh, right. Like when you're just feeling, you know, too tired to cook anything, you haven't prepped your food in advance, you don't have anything in the freezer calling your name, you know, just one of those situations where you are just feeling too lazy to be too creative and you need a meal now. Well, when I'm in that mood or predicament, then these are my three favorite go-to lazy meals. The first one is, wait for it, I'm sure a lot of you guys can guess, soup. For those of you who follow me, you know I talk soup to death, but I can't stress it enough what an awesome weight loss food it is. Oh, and speaking of soup, I am currently putting together my second ebook, which is going to be filled with a ton of easy, easy, super delicious soup recipes that I'm confident you guys are going to love. And while we're on that note, as promised, by the time I release this video, for those of you who haven't grabbed a copy yet of my current weight loss recipe ebook, then you can do that now. And the first 10 people to purchase today will receive it on sale. So that link will also be in my description box below. So good luck. Sorry, that was a, a bit of a sidetrack from what I was originally talking about. I swear sometimes I talk to you guys like you're my best friend sitting across from me or something. Well, in fairness, in a way you are. <laughs> Soup is honestly just one of the easiest, laziest meals that you can whip together. I like to already have a pot kind of prepped in the beginning of the week or midweek sometimes I have to make another one but I usually always try to have a pot of soup already in my fridge now the other thing is soup also freezes really well so if you don't have a space in your fridge or you know you don't have time to make a fresh pot once or twice a week then just pick a day when you do have a lot of time and make a ton of soup and then just throw it in some you know freezer safe containers or even ziploc bags freeze really well i find that when you lay them flat and freeze them that way they don't take up a lot of space in your freezer so that way you can just pull it right out of your freezer and let it defrost or break it up and throw it right into the pot warm it up and you are good to go and to make it a complete meal you want to add some kind of starch to it now most of the time I have at least one or two starches already prepped as well and ready to go in my fridge or my freezer so for example if I had frozen beans already in my freezer or say I had some rice or potatoes whatever starch does not matter what I do is I just grab my soup already from the fridge already ready to go, throw it on the stove top, warm it up, and then once it's almost ready, I will just throw in about half a cup of beans or you know a cup of potatoes or whatever. I just throw in however much I think I need to eat and just throw it in and it heats right up with the soup and then I have a complete meal. It's really that easy. This is something I will eat a lot oftentimes when I'm really hungry and I don't have the patience to cook or to wait for food to cook. Or, you know, if I'm just walking in the door from a really busy day, you know, I will go to soup almost always. I just find it so easy and so comforting and it's gonna be so much easier to eat now that we're going to be entering the winter season soon. Teardrop. <laughs>
So my second lazy meal that I love to eat when, you know, once again, just feeling tired or I don't already have something made is oatmeal. Now hear me out on this one. I'm not talking about oatmeal just for breakfast. Oatmeal can actually be eaten at any time of the day. I mean, we're the ones making the rules, right? So it's not necessarily just a breakfast meal. So feel free to have it for lunch or dinner as well. I honestly wish I could have my husband jump on here to tell you guys how many times I've had oatmeal for dinner. So going back to what I was saying earlier in the video about uh, when I had lost a ton of weight and healed my gut issues and other health issues that were happening that, you know, nobody could figure out what was going on with me. Um, oatmeal was a staple food for me. Now that came a little bit later in my journey when I got to a point that I could actually tolerate grains again. I was still very much in the healing process, but oh, there were phases as far as what I was able to eat at certain times and what I was absolutely not able to eat. So when I was able to eat oatmeal again and tolerate it, it became like my go-to food. I ate it like it was going out of style. I'm, I'm not even kidding. So oatmeal I found to be extremely gentle on my stomach. Um, in fact, it's actually kind of the food I would still go to if I'm not feeling well. Oatmeal is something that I would definitely consider a safe food for me. Um, it just never fails to work both for health and weight loss purposes. And as far as weight loss purposes go, you know, think how easy it is to make oatmeal. If you are starving, again, take it out of your mind that it's just a breakfast food. If you're starving at lunch or starving at dinner, you know how easy it is to whip up a bowl of oatmeal, you know, throw some water in a pan, add your oats within what, three to four minutes tops, you're gonna have your oatmeal ready and then you can throw whatever you want in it. Sometimes I just throw some frozen fruit in there or I'll chop up a banana. You can add nuts to it. You can add flaxseed. You know, you can add really whatever you want to make it a complete meal. You can top it off with some milk or just eat it as is. But I just love that it's another meal that can literally be made in like five minutes and it's super filling, especially if you add other things to the oatmeal meal, then, you know, A, you're going to reduce the calorie density of the meal, as well as putting even more food inside your belly to keep you fuller even longer. So I can't stress it enough. Oatmeal for weight loss is perfect for the lazy cook <laughs> or for the tired cook, you know, whatever the reason. Oatmeal is a fantastic meal that you can have at any time of the day if you're just in one of those moods and you need a super simple, easy meal. Okay, and lastly, my third favorite go-to meal are sweet potatoes. Now, it can be regular potatoes for those of you who prefer regular potatoes over the sweet potatoes. They, you know, they kind of serve about the same purpose in my books. I just personally love the taste of sweet potatoes better than regular potatoes. So that was a lot of potatoes, 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 potatoes. Wow. <laughs> Now I usually batch prep sweet potatoes in the beginning of the week and then just keep them in my fridge. So when they're like that, they are honestly the easiest go-to food for me. There are honestly not a lot of foods that you can eat 100% alone without adding anything to it and being 100% satisfied. And that's how I feel about sweet potatoes. The way that I make them, I honestly don't feel the need to even add anything to them. No salt, no garlic salt, no sugar of any kind, no maple syrup, nothing. They literally just taste so good and they're so naturally sweet as is. I feel like sweet potatoes do a really great job at keeping me full for a pretty long period of time, as well as satisfying my sweet tooth. What I also like about sweet potatoes is that they are pretty versatile as well. So you can turn them into delicious sweet potato fries, which I did recently just put out a video showing how I make my sweet potato fries with my buffalo dipping sauce. Wow, it's an amazing combination. So check that video out if you haven't had a chance to. I will have that linked in my description box below. But as I was saying, they're just so versatile for sweet potato fries, which you can literally eat them every day like that if you want, and it would be perfectly healthy and perfectly great for your weight loss goals. Um, they can be thrown in a smoothie. You can make a delicious pudding out of them. They can be thrown in soups. And like I said, they can just be eaten as is. 
They are just such a versatile food and they're super easy if you already have them prepped to just grab them out and make any of those things that I just mentioned. They are also another food of mine that are excellent for digestive health and that was another food that I did eat pretty often while I was healing my body and I mean they obviously contributed to the healing so that kind of speaks for itself and they just have a really great nutritional profile and overall I would say they just leave me feeling happy. <laughs> so I would say that those are my top three favorite lazy foods that I eat for weight loss. Let me know in the comments what are yours? Are any of those the same for you or do you have different ones? If so, leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys are eating and what works for you. If it's your first time here and you are also on a health and weight loss journey following a plant-based diet and would like to learn more, grab some of my recipes and also follow along my journey, then be sure to stick around and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos. All right guys, so I'm going to leave it here. I hope you found today's video helpful. And again, as a reminder, I will leave all those links in my description box below. So be sure to check those out. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one.